everyone, it's Bob McCraney with This Month in Realty, and today I'm super happy to have the, the show come back on. We're happy to have Kimberly Barton with Kinetic Realty. She's the broker and owner in Annapolis, Maryland. Kimberly, tell us about the market in Annapolis. Well, Annapolis is an unusual market in the respect that we are still seeing a severe sh shortage of inventory, um, but we are starting to see some properties creep onto the market. Um, this week is a little further down than last week, which was the highest it's been in a couple of years. Um, the one thing we are noticing is the majority of the homes are being priced at or over a million dollars for Annapolis. So it's not quite the affordable housing area, but there are homes for sale that a first time home buyer can get into. It's going to take a little bit of uh, time and looking since there is a shortage. Uh, the average uh, days before a seller gets a contract is about six right now. And uh, overall, compared to Maryland, um, that's about half of what Maryland is doing. So fast market, higher sales, and uh, shortage of inventory. Interesting. Okay. And there are parts of the country that are doing the, there, there are parts of the country that have like four or five months of inventory and stagnant. So congratulations on that. Yes. Um, so I've heard this question before, and maybe you can give me your insight on it. If somebody has a lot of student debt, does that mean they cannot buy a house right now? No, they can buy a house. Um, there are certain things that can be done. Maryland actually has a specific product for those who want to buy a home with student debt. It's actually called the Smart Buy 3.0, which is a new program that was launched uh, at the end of last year and continues through this year, which will... Um, actually help pay off the student debt as well as help you buy a home. There are certain criteria that you need to go through. So if that's something you are interested in, definitely give me a call because I'd love to kind of go through that and see whether or not it would work for you. Okay. That's good to know. Um, so how realistic is it for me to list my house right now and, and sell it really quick? Well, depending on where you're at in the state, uh, you are looking at about 13 days on an average basis in Annapolis specifically, it's six days. However, it is uh, community specific. We are seeing some staying on the market a little longer, but we also know that Maryland still has a severe shortage of inventory with households being formed at record rates between 2010 and 2020. The demand for housing exists and we're not building a lot of new construction. So if you are a seller looking to sell your house, uh, you have to do a few things. Number one, make sure your house is in good order for it to be appealing to buyers because a lot of the buyers are looking for homes that are move-in ready. Uh, consult with a qualified uh, real estate professional and make sure when you hit the market, you are prepared to stay on the market a little longer than the typical four to seven days that we saw last year at this time. Uh, but yes, it is possible. Pricing, location, and condition are always the three factors for a seller to get a quick sale. So obviously, okay. yes, the very good points. Um Okay, so Kimberly, how would somebody contact you? I can be reached at Kimberly at kbartonrealtor.com or you can call me directly at 443-222-0857. Okay, and I'll put your links down below. Will you come back next time? Definitely, thank you. Thank you for helping me get the show back on the uh, off the ground and, and running again. This has been This Month in Realty. Tune in each month to hear more from Kimberly and other real estate experts around the United States and Canada. Take care.